and welcome back for, you know, the next one. I'm really into it. I'm digging it. I'm digging the, the whole vibe. Um, I wanted to look at my badges quickly, because that's a thing that we can do. Um, you know, we get little starting bonuses from this stuff, which is cool. Um, I have arrested a suspect off camera, which is unfortunate, but you know, that's fine, it's fine. Um, I have costume scraps, but I need a lot of costume scraps to start upgrading. So that's a thing, but whatever, we'll move on from that. Um, let's dig in to the Noir Syndrome. Or whatever. Um, oh, today we are playing Billy Partridge Feather. The, the, uh, older brother of the family. Um, it was his responsibility to sort of take care of things when the father left and remained unnamed from episode one. Donald Hall. He's, he plays he plays by his own rules, but he gets the job done. You know, he's he's pretty he's a classic, a classic noir detective. <laughs> whatever the whatever the bees that is, if I could do an Orson Welles, I'd totally do that. Okay, and he rolls with the cool guys. Like he's 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 pretty straightforward. He's like, he's very manly, and likes stuff that men like, like uh, lock picks that they find. And going downstairs. This police station is un is a abandoned. Like completely. Hunt club Yes! Oh well, guess I'm doing that now. As soon as you find the hunt club card, this game completely changes. I'm getting some weird distortion when I walk in this place. Let's get out of here. It's freaking me out. Silent Hill or something? Um I just watched some Silent Hill stuff, and I wouldn't mind playing it, but I don't have a PlayStation 4. So that was interesting. PT, anyone? Yeah. Topical. Um, good thing they don't know that I'm part of the Partridge for the family of detectives. Because now I'm a handsome man detective. And I'm just picking up the old, the old clues. Getting me some clues. I don't want your cheese plat. Man, why is it? Mob dominated subway. That's where I'm going next then, because I'm I'm much more directed than my sisters were, and I I appear to have the wealth of knowledge that they accumulated. Also, that's good. Um, how many lockpicks do I have? Two. Uh, I'd rather do the attic, to be honest. Yeah, I know. Walking upstairs makes me hungry. That's how it. That's how it works. Do you not? Hey, rat. You're not like a dinosaur cat. You're cool. No clues. That is. Ah. Damn it. I thought for sure this creepy attic with a double bed in it would be suitable for clue finding. Uh, da 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 da. Down old stairs. God, that is a bunch. That is just a bunch. Yeah, I know. Oh, Wilson, I'm going. I'm on the way. I'm on the way. I forgot what I called this guy already. I'm gonna go with Peter anyway, because I think Peter's the right name. Norma Miller. Just another day in this crazy town. Norma Miller style. Uh, what's purple again? Something, oh yeah, cool. Subway, I should. I always get my man. It's kind of like Marvin the Martian. Peanuts for seven dollars? Bottle of rum. Howard King. Got to review our clues after today. Leather gloves. More rats. I knew that I'd find this scum in the scummiest parts of town. Where else would he hide out except amongst himself? There's an old Comanche Indian saying that goes, "You hide a leaf in a forest, cause that'll oh, hey Skype, hide a leaf in a forest, cause that's a good idea." Um, mob taker. Whoa. I just left that place. Damn. Alright, we should eat. <clears throat> um, I'm gonna eat and review my clues at the same time. I'll be very detective y. Is anyone gonna shoot me? Are you gonna shoot me, lady? Don't shoot me. I, I hate that. 
It's been very rough on me the last couple of times. Must buy blah 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 roast dinner fifteen bucks. That is so cheap. How much money do I have? Ten dollars. Okay, can I get this one? Then? Yeah, cool. Cheese plate. I feel normal. Grand. Let's review these clues. Um. Okay, I'm getting a vibe that it's a a chef, a chef at least. Uh. Ugh. Wow, this is not... Okay, wait. Anna Green's a chef. It couldn't be her, though, could it? What else is Anna Green? Have we got anything else pointing at Anna Green? She's a civilian. So that would mean that paperwork is a civilian thing. And it's chef, chef. Oh, damn. Okay, I'm going Should I do it? Should I act on impulse? Yeah, I'd play by my own rules. That's how this works. I'm, I'm, ah, <clears throat> Peter Partridge Feather. You know, he lost a lot of family in this line of work, you know, he's, he's driven now. He's, he's gonna make that arrest, even if he doesn't have any bottle of rum could be a poet, so that's delightful. <laughs> um, he doesn't, no, no remorse. He's gonna take down, yeah, look, this is, it's likely, and likely is good enough for me. <laughs> Let's do it. Oh. Let's do it! Anna Green, she was gonna go down for her crimes. Who knew what drove her to this, to this outcome? What could? Man, this mob takeover is following me, is that a thing? Culprit spotted here. She'd have to be taken down with extreme prejudice. I only had two bullets left in my gun. BAM! Murder solved! Yeah! Peter Partridge Feather pulls it back together for his family once again. He couldn't let Patricia, Ruth, Penny, and I think that was all of his family that died in this line of work, but they, you know, he couldn't let him rest. That diner was always a haunting place for him, but he had to go back. He had to conquer his fears. Because that's the kind of guy he was. And is. Next time on Noir Syndrome. So, I mean, yeah, Peter's come back. He's alive. He lived through his ordeal. You know, he shot a lady in, in a room without any provocation, but she turned out to be a murderer, so that means it's okay. Goodbye.